Hi there, my name is Dan Bessa C. Litboot, DC Litboot for short. Welcome to my channel. Is there a problem here? Oh no, everything's just fine. Apart from that guy. Welcome back to Ratatouille Part 9. You're just in time to see Emil and Remy sit in motion the food heist. <laughs> Good job, Remy. Now we need to get what we came for, the food! You okay. know what to do. Yep. Just give the signal to each of the rats. Yep. Well, I'm already for you. And again, this is a time division, so we have to be fast. Also, was it me or did Emil seem a bit off-model there? I mean, he was looking over Remy's head rather than at him. In fact, they couldn't animate the eyes or something. Anyway, first of all, Git has to open his door to provide an avenue of escape. <clears throat> we gotta get this up. Here we go. He's got the door. Now for the next stage of the plan. I must say, for a skinny rat, Surge is quite strong to open that heavy door. Shoot the... Oh, shoot the food, huh? The first draft of carrots. Good choice. Right, huh? That's simple enough. Uh, tins. Okay. One thing with this part, the aiming system needs a lot to be desired. You have to use the cursor keys in order to aim. It's not like you can use the mouse and aim freely. I'm a pretty good sniper, but I need a good aiming mechanic to work with. Watch out, skin is on the on the loose. Uh oh. Time for another chase sequence. <laughs> He's a very. Don't tie me to me, Skinner. This is serious this time. Skin is our main antagonist. It's not like we're just running from Linguini. Come on. Why even stop me that time? I'm being held up by invisible walls. You do realize that you have to use those jars, Skinner. He's damn... This is a very hazardous kitchen. Good grief, who turned up the hobs so high that the flames are touching the ceiling? Health and safety, come on! What are you doing, Skinner? I mean, I'm only trying to catch Remy, but I mean... You do realize they're smashing your own kitchen to do it, just to get a rat. Sheesh, simmer down, guy. 
You might hurt yourself. Such a boiling temper. No need to be so steamed up about it. <laughs> you crazy thing. I mean Chef Skinner, of course, not Remy. I've heard of a Napoleon complex, but this guy is absolutely insane. That's better. Whew. Made it out in time. Oh. Hold on. Whoa. Ooh. Wow, I bet he's feeling like a right codfish there. Oh, Fortuna. You sure put him in his place? Well, I've got a feeling he's going to be very crabby when he gets out of this. So let's not be kippers. Let's get out of here, back to the sewers, before he gives us a haddock. Oh, hang on a tick. Mm. Completely missed that star then, trying to jump over all those gaps. So young. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, we are going at a lick, aren't we? Both a blur. Too fast. Oh, blimey. Fifth attempt. How do they expect people to actually negotiate this part? It's not even the pipe, which is a slide. What plumber in his right mind designed this sewer? I've only got clear of that part. Oh, what a nightmare. Mm. Wasn't even possible to do without dying several times. Great. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yeah, going too fast. I can't predict what's ahead when you're going so fast. Thank you. Finally, uh, a slow bit. I'm trying to catch my breath. Fifty nine sixty stars. Let me see if we reach halfway point, but uh, how long is his run? This pipe is crazy. I'm really just slowing down here, aren't we? Really? Leave a, a great big gap there. Okay, how do you get past that bit? The floor is missing and there's a natural bend to always fall to the middle of the pipe. But the middle of the, of the pipe isn't there, therefore there's nowhere to go. It's impossible. Apparently I have to approach this at speed. Or defy gravity somehow. What can I tell you? I love good food. Thank you. Cool. Did we actually manage to get past that bit? Right. Whew. 
Ah, what the fudge cakes? There's two paths to take. Ah, stop, 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 stop. At least here's one trick I can use in the slide sections. To double jump against the slope until I reach the stars I've missed. But that's the ones in the upper pipe section. That requires a restart. Thank you. Great. Oh, for goodness sakes. We finally got to the bottom. And not before time, I'm thinking. This level was far more difficult than it had any right to be for a children's game. Who's the rat? I'm the rat. Eventually. Just love how they call that level underground fun. About as fun as being pranked in the posterior with a pitchfork. But at least that's over and done with now. Well anyway, this is a good place to close off the episode. Once you see what the rats have done with the ten bottles of soap from the kitchen. Now you can use the soap pump as a bubble machine. Good job, Remy. <laughs> so that's what they use the uh, soap bottles for? Just uh, useless stuff, huh? Friggin' bubbles! Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, by all means, like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Cheerio!